What's up guys, welcome to another video. My name is Lucas and today what I wanna do is I wanna walk you through how to sort your album images using machine learning. So I have all of these unsorted images in, in a folder. So what I wanna do is see if I can train a machine learning model to classify an image as keep it or don't keep it. Because uh, most of my most most of what I do when I'm sorting these images is identifying the images I want to keep versus the images I don't want to keep. So I was thinking if I could train a machine learning model to identify that for me automatically. So then in the end, I, I would have just like a folder with the images that the model identified as don't want to keep. Then I can go to that folder and just take a quick look to see if it makes sense and then just delete it all and just keep the images that I want. That's what we're going to be doing today. And that's going to involve a lot of stuff. So let's get started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a file called um, organize uh, sort creation time. And what this file is going to do is we're going to go through all the images in that folder and use the pill package to get the creation time of all the get the date of creation for all the images in a folder so get creation time of files in the directory exact thank you very much github copilot and after that what i want to do is rename all the files by adding the date of creation yes and that's what this folder is going to do so that's the first task we're going to do so for that we're going to need Okay, so what do we need here? It's uh, very simple. I need to first uh, identify if the file is an image. And if the file is an image, I'm gonna use the pill package to load that file and get the creation time. So after I've done that, I'm gonna check if the file is a none. If the file is not a none, I will then uh, replace the columns with hyphens so that uh, it looks better on the final output and then if I don't get a string when I try to do that with the image package I know that I can't get the creation time like that so I'm going to get the creation time using the time module and the OS module and then I'm going to do some basic formatting and now we're off to the races perfect so now I'm creating creation time and what I want to do now is I want to rename my file. It's going to be this creation time thing plus the suffix of the file name. And then I want to move it to, the, to this folder. And now let's see what the final output is before we actually run it. Unsupported up runtime for string. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I would have to change this to this. And now let's see. Booyah. Um, that's, uh, that's great. Yep, that's, that's awesome. That's wonderful files. Blah, 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 JPEG. Yeah, got my file. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. So now I'm going to use shuttle.copy file name to file.path. And hopefully that will work. So now I'm moving all the files and booyah, I got all my files organized by, de by date of creation. Look at that. And all perfect. So now I can check to see if it worked. Perfect. So now we finished the first part of this project which was to get all the images and videos and sort them by creation date now what we're going to do is we're going to label them right we got to create our data set so what we need now is to create a data set to create the data set what we're going to do is we're going to write some code that's going to be the create data set dot file okay and what we're going to do here is we're going to loop through the all the images in the folder that we created the files with date stuff right and from there we're gonna 
we're going to have one out of three options. It's going to be keep it, don't keep it. Okay, so labels, keep it, don't keep it, or uh, do nothing, or like do nothing because it's a video, because it's a video or something. Okay, so that's the first thing. These are the labels we're going to have. And then it's interesting, author JL Canals. Okay, so now I'm curious about if this thing is an actual. Uh, this author actually wrote a book, that name. That's kind of funny. Uh, all right, I mean, GitHub Copilot is distracting me right now. Okay, so here we go. Let me see if I'm still recording. I'm still recording. All right. So these are the labels we're gonna have for our data set. So what am I what am I gonna do in this, in this script? I'm gonna loop through the images in in the files with dates folder, right? Once I've done that, what am I gonna do after that? After that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to label them, label them, and automatically move them to automatically move them to a train or test folder no i don't know automatically move them to the folder with the same name as the label right right so that means that the first thing I need to do is to create the, the folder with the label, right? So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna you know, import the OS. I'm probably gonna use Pathlib as well, sure. And then now what I'm gonna do is, uh, okay, so let's remove the data set thing that I did there. Gonna remove data set, oh, remove my data set. Okay, so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, yeah, we need to look through the image in the fair folder, label it, and move it to the folder, same name as link. So we need to create the folder as well. So let's do make gear, and the name of this folder is gonna be data set, data set, and it's gonna be called raw data set because it's not split into training and testing yet. Then we call it raw data set, and then inside of that data set, we're going to create our label, right? So it's going to be called uh, raw data set, and it's going to be keep it, and then uh, don't keep it. These are the two labels that we're going to use, and that's it. After that, once I've done that, I created my data set, created the folders inside of that data set. I created the folder for the data set, created the folders for the labels. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through the images. So, uh, so in uh, files, um, uh, like media here is files with dates. Uh, and I'm going to use pathlib. So pathlib.path. Yeah, so for file in media here, uh, dot iter here. Yeah, so for each file inside this directory, um, if it's a file, I'm gonna. This is just wrong. I don't know why this is happening here. If file dot if it's a file, I mean obviously let's just make sure. I mean it's I know it's gonna be a file, so I don't need to do that. So now, if if it's an image, so yeah, if file dot suffix dot lower in if let me copy from what I did here, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so if it's an image, then I'm, I have to look at that image. So I'm going to use maplolib for that. So. Let's uh, import matplotlib.pyplot, it's plt, 
and also let's import shuttle because shuttle is going to be used to it. Yeah. And also let's make sure that these are not. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just say try this, create the thing. Yeah, it's better than to just create the folder like, you know, accept that's okay. that makes make sure that you know if the data if the directives are created it's not going to recreate a data uh director so if that thing is there i uh, want to look at the image right plt.im show um plt.im read stream file show sure and then the input so yeah thank you very much keep it or done if the label is yes move it to keep it and lift there's no invalid uh invalid input skipping perfect thank you very much github copilot Fucking love it. And so now keep it, don't keep it. Yeah. Keep it, don't keep it. Yeah. So it's either, it's either going to be Y or N. And if I press enter, for example, uh, then it will just say invalid input skipping, right? Uh, but Yes, so I guarantee to look at an image. And I'm going to say one of these three, exactly. And then that's what's going to happen. Yeah, so now I think that this will work. So now let's say pi create data set. All right, perfect. So this is an image I do want to keep. So I'm going to say yes. This is another one that I do want to keep. Finally, we are finished. Uh, selecting the images so now I have my raw data set with don't keep it and keep it so what I can do now is first check out how many images I have of each uh, how many images I have of each type uh, oh, sorry that's that's not correct so uh, so let's see uh, let's, uh, let's see from the keep it how many images I have? I have 293 images from the keep it and 351 from the don't keep it. So I would say I have a pretty balanced data set. So now I can create my classifier. So now, uh, okay, so now I'm going to create my train file yeah, where I'm going to run training, right? and here so which i'm going to use the model i'm going to use is a basic basic model that i saw on constructual blog carrots image classification files. yeah and it has a great model example here that i think works perfect so let's see ba, 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 ba. Uh, wait, no. Okay, so okay, perfect. So I so I finished labeling the the data, and I have two hundred ninety three images from uh, the keep it and two hundred fifty one image from the don't keep it. So what I want now is to create my train and test data set. So I'm gonna create one here called create train test. Right, and what I want is to have a split of train test. It's going to be like 80 20, let's say. I think 80 20 is cool. So, 80 20. I mean, usually you would have to do much more advanced stuff of like guaranteeing that you know the when you're splitting your data, the distribution is you know all good and set up and stuff. But in this case, I'm just gonna create a folder with train, create a train folder, create a test folder inside the data set folder and just move from the raw data set to there with the, with an 80 20 ratio. So to do that, what am I going to do? 
I'm gonna I'm gonna do similar to what I did here. So I'm going to create a data set. This time it's gonna be called is literally data set. Yeah, data set. And then it's gonna be called uh, train. Keep it and then okay, that should have been. Let's do it. Yeah, train. Boom. And now I can do same thing here, but it's going to be called test. Test. Perfect. Data set train. Keep it. Don't keep it. Test. Keep it. Don't keep it. Perfect. So now if I run this. It will create my data set. So create train. Nice. So now I have the data set train test. And now with this, the rest I'm gonna do here is move, right? Get 80, 20. So I'm gonna access my raw data set. Uh, ah, shit, that's true. Uh, just remember something that's, there's a right way to do this, but it's fine. Uh, so now what I want is just like in this one, I want to get my media directory. The media directory is going to be the raw data set, right? The raw data set has the keep it, don't keep it. So, uh, keep it images. Uh, it's going to be, yep. Keep it. There it is. Thank you. And the don't keep it images. Uh, don't don't keep it that's that's right okay so now i'm gonna i want to select random 20 percent of each of these images and move them to so I just need to use numpy as np during that choice or import numpy as np. Uh, I'm gonna use import numpy. So now I wanna get like uh, random, uh, random keep it images. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then random don't keep it images equals Let's see if we get it. Oh, damn. I'm going to just print this to see if you got it right. Random, random, keep it images. And now I'm just going to say this and see what happens. Nope, that didn't work. So list, keep images. Okay. And then size is 20%. NP.random.choice. Um, let's keep it images. So that can only be if uh, keep it images actually didn't return anything useful. So let's see if that's the case. List keep it images. Yeah. So this is not returning what I want. So raw data set. Nope, still doesn't return it. Keep it, raw data set, keep it. Raw data set, keep it, raw data set, keep it. Uh, raw data set, keep it, don't keep it. Why is it that it's not giving me what I need? Uh, because raw data set, don't keep it, keep it. And then he doesn't find the images that, okay, maybe because of this. And list, keep it images. Let's see, there we go. So the images are there, so I can access the images. So, that should mean 
But why can't I? Ah, because I list twice. There you go. Because he lists twice. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah. I'm going to get it, get it out of here. And then I'm just going to put list here. And put a list here. So now he's going to give me what I need. There you go. Now I have 20% images. So what I'm going to do now is just loop through these images and move them to the, the train test folder, right? So for image in random, keep it images. Uh, yeah. Set till the move image to yes. Uh, uh, and for image in deep random stupid images, thank you. Train, yeah, so it's not train, this is a move to test, yeah. And then after I've done that, I'm going to loop through the images in the Keep it images. Uh, no. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop through the images that remain. So the images that remained are in the raw data set in the keep it folder. So let's just go there. So path with the path uh, raw data set. Keep it dot iter there and then move it to train, right? And uh, same thing with the don't keep it, don't keep it now. This is definitely not the perfect way to do it but it will work it's now so now keep it don't keep it train test keep it keep don't keep it train don't keep it okay perfect so now i move the images and then i loop over i loop through the yeah, so I loop through the raw data set and keep it, move it there, loop through the raw data set, don't keep it, move it to train. Uh, but before I, I looped over the random keep it and move it to testing, same thing with the other one. So this should work. And now I create my data set and he said no such file directory, test keep it data set. Because raw data sets data set test he said no such file or directory where creation to the move image train keep it train them test don't keep it data set data set he didn't create so when i created the thing he said okay so he didn't create image so now let's end my left data set now let's try it and didn't work again because message file test keep it hmm very weird why doesn't he create the data? It doesn't create the, the folders that I want. Data set train, keep it and keep it, test, keep it again. Why not? Uh, data set. Okay, so I'm going to create this thing manually. 
no uh, I'm just gonna lie I can't do this so data set train keep it on keep it can you keep it on keep it why not let's just create that data set sign there we go so now I'm gonna remove the data set folder wait data set yeah and now let's see what happens file not found train keep it ah oh, yeah because i didn't create the train folder okay okay got it yeah okay so now i have to make these guys thank you yeah and now this thing will work and then it didn't. Son of a bitch. So rm minus rf data set. And then boom. Uh the destination path already exists. Okay, so that's the new issue, new annoying issue. So it exists. So if it already exists, don't move it. Uh yeah, so try i'm just going to try now yeah try and then accept oh, this is too many try accept this is bad this is bad coding come on please i can do better than this so he said in the test keep it tall are in folder so if if uh, image if not image that is file no because obviously it's a file so um, I want to move this image there and I want to make sure that in the destination the shut to has got to have some fucking shut to down move let's see the documentation for shut to down move move copy function is this a uh, copy to move the file to another location return destination the default copy to using copy allows me to see when it's not possible to copy the metadata expense of not copying ta, ta, ta. so this nation path that your error destination path already exists let's see what's the what's the best way to do this Let's see what's the best way to do this. Yeah. How do you do it? Should you do copy? Ah, because it should override files automatically. So let's use copy instead of move. Okay, fine. So I'm going to use copy here. That's fine. And uh, uh, let's see if this works. But we uh, currently did. So now we got train, don't keep it, keep it. Pass, don't keep it, keep it. Awesome, let's do a quick check. Data set, e uh, train, keep it. Let's see right now. And then it's a file format now recognized. What? Oh, sorry. Less. 267. Perfect. And for test, 90. That makes total sense. And then, uh, frame, uh, don't keep it. 251. And if we go test, 63. Awesome. So we got our data set. Everything's good to go. So now we can go to train up high. And now I'm going to steal from this example cats are flying, cats and dogs from, um, from, uh, Funko actually, which is like a great simple model in care that not like loading pre trained model, don't do anything fancy. Okay, so there you go. That's it. So this is the model we're going to use. So let's copy the imports. 
but let's type in the model just so that we understand what we're what we're implementing so we're implementing a sequential model in Keras, right and now we're doing model.add 32 3 by 3 150 153 that's a good question what's it gonna be the shape of the images in this example you use 150 my example i would have to check because the resolution of my images change a lot but honestly what i'm gonna do is just say fuck it i'm gonna do 256 yeah let's do 256 because why not i mean you know why not and then that's fine uh the I don't know if it's like this. I think the correct thing is, let's use it like in his example, three by 256 by 256. And if the shape is actually the reverse, I get it. I add a ralu, I add a max pooling with two sides two by two, model dot add comp 32 by three, another ralu, another pooling, and then model dot add uh comp to be 64 3 well it's amazing that you have copilot does it for me automatically i don't even need to copy that's amazing so we're going to stick to fully connected layers and the model the single unit and single activation which is perfect binary classification great so now let's flatten so model dot add flatten uh yeah, yeah yeah i know it converts 3d map to a 1d feature map uh yeah okay so now model dot add then 64 model dot add relu let's add dropout and then let's add a dense with one the sigma activation and now let's compile the model so model dot compile lost both binary cross entropy that makes sense and let's add the optimizer why is the optimizer not an option here there we go rms prop sure why not metric accuracy that's what i care about perfect let's prepare the data so let's use this code prepare the data which is the same that they use here so let's do it. Uh, batch size 16, it's fine. Image data generator. I actually need to import the stuff for the image processing. There we go. There we go. So that's great. Pop up that. Image data generator. Okay, so now, yeah, so it's not data, it's data set. It's not data, it's data set. And here's test. Yeah, train generated data, and the input shape is. I'm going to work with 256 instead of 150, like in his example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I can fit the model. So model the fit uh, generator, training generator, um, steps per epoch is two thousand divided by bed size. Okay, cool. Validation steps, 100. I think it's pretty much the same. And then I save the weights at the end. So model.save weights. And this is uh, album sorter, album image sorter, uh, .h5, always see the rate, sure. I'm going to sort it, but I, maybe I should try. Okay, no, it's fine. Now I think we are ready to try and run our model, finally. So now, finally guys, we are, we have our model, we organized, we developed the model, we compiled, we have our data, flow directory, we indicated the data, uh, we indicated the data set folder with the train and test images, 
And now we are ready to train and see if it works. Let's see if it works. First try, there's always something. There we go. So we had issues with shape. I'm guessing it was this. So 056, six, three. Let's see if that works. And oh, damn, bounce. Now it works. Boom. So there we go. And our accuracy sucks in the beginning. It's fine, but it's training. So now, guys, we're going to expect, uh, we're going to wait for it to finish and we're going to see what kind of results we have. So I finished training the model. And as we can see here, the accuracy is not exactly great, right? So the training accuracy was 50% and the validation accuracy was 58%. And so I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, so this is not good. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is uh, see without changing the data set, if I can improve this performance by using a pre-trained model. So I'm going to call, I'm going to create a file here called train pre-trained.py. And I'm going to use a pre-trained model to, to try to classify the images and see if that model has a little bit more, has, a, has better accuracy and stuff. So let's do that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use this. Uh, I'm going to use this template from the Keras documentation, which is the template for pre-training and it's for fine-tuning an Inception V3 on a new set of classes. So this is the example I'm going to use. I'm going to use copy, uh, copy, copy. No, no, get out of here. Just want to copy. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to get this. Awesome. So now that I use that example, I'm going to put the source here. So I always know that I didn't write this code myself. I got it from here. The exception V3 example. Okay. So now, <clears throat> so I'm here I'm loading the model. Okay. So here I'm loading the model. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing the setup for fine-tuning the Inception V3. And in this case, we're just going to have one class. So the activation is going to be changed to sigmoid. It's going to be a dense one, which is the, the one to do the classification of the input. And this is the model we will train. Da, 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 da. Categorical cross entropy, no binary cross entropy matrix accuracy yeah perfect and now the fit is very similar and there is visualize a layer to the and yeah that sounds about right Hmm. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Keras makes everything so complicated. Compile. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. Okay, so so I got this example from the Keras documentation where I'm gonna fine tune the Inception uh, V3 model. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, projects.
Okay, so I'm going to use this example from the Keras documentation to fine tune the Inception V3 model. So that's the example I'm going to use. Okay, perfect. So now uh, what I need to do here is I'm going to first thing first, first things first, I'm going to put the source here as the as documentation, so I know I didn't write this code. Uh, inception v3 example. Uh, fine tuning inception v3 example. So what we're going to be doing here is uh, so first he trains uh, only the top layers, which were randomly initialized. So freeze out the convolution of the trailers, and then train the model on a few for a few epochs. And then when the top layers are well trained, we can start fine tuning. Convolution is from V3. We'll freeze the bottom end layers and train the remaining top layers. All right. So we choose to train the top two inception blocks. I'll just use the example that he's doing here. Uh, the first 249 layers and then freeze the rest. All right. So that's what we're going to do. So then here we fit, we fit our stuff. So let's get from the training, the stuff that we fit. So this is what we need. The, yeah, this is the, this is the stuff we need. And I'm just, <coughs> sorry. So now I'm just gonna put the stuff here, right? And here now I can fit the generator and stuff. Perfect. So now I can fit and it's just, I'm gonna fit for like, I don't know, five epochs, then I'm gonna put 10, I'm gonna put five epochs, and I'm gonna remove the steps for epoch stuff. Yeah, and now uh, validation data is validation generator. All right, five, 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 validation steps. I'm gonna remove this bit. We don't need it for this thing. Yeah, perfect, so now, this is this is it and then finally uh optimizer sorry that's not what i want actually what i want is the same as i wanted in this one so <clears throat> no this is incorrect so it's binary cross entropy and matrix accuracy perfect no binary cross entropy metrics are accuracy yes that's what I need. That's correct. Correct. And then now I'm gonna I'm gonna compile again. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna say model equal ta ta ta. Right. Let me just check to see if I'm not doing anything super stupid. Yeah. I recompile the model here. I compile again, MRS prop, binary cross entropy. I'm doing a different optimizer, different loss function, because it's a different problem. In my case, I'm doing binary classification. And now I fit it again. So I'm going to use the same fit that I used here. But this time I'm going to do, yeah, this time I'm going to do the same fit that I did on this example, which is, oh, yeah, so 50 epochs, I'm going to train for a while. Yeah, steps per epoch 2000, bed size, uh, this step, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to put it upstairs, bed size equals 16. So I'm going to say here, batch, bed size equals 16. Awesome. All right, so I think that we're ready to test if this example is going to work uh train be trained let's see if it works it never works on the first try all right so it's downloading the data to from <clears throat> the weights from the inception v3 yeah i didn't put the uh, import for the pre-processing and the stuff so let's put that here perfect now let's try that again <clears throat> so now he already downloaded the weights now he's fitting the model and look, it's label must have the same shape. So it gave me a shape issue. Uh, oh, I forgot to change here. 
sigmoid dense yeah perfect da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. ah yeah and i forgot to say that you know uh in the other example to to fit stuff in memory i actually ended up putting the shape to 150 by 150 i changed i was i went to 256 but then 256 was too big for me so i went to 150 and the performance wasn't great so now we're doing this and we're using 150 150 by 150. <clears throat> All right, so let's try again. All right, cool, cool, cool. So fitting gives me the, I got to see about this warning about the fit generator. All right, so he's first training the, um, the inner layers. So he's doing like this first fit that is right uh, here. Yes, and this fit is from yeah, training only the top layers, blah, 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 blah. And then he trains again, and this time he trains the uh, top train session blocks. There we go. So I'm just using the Keras example and just to see if we can get something that works a little bit better. Hopefully, we get something that works a little bit better. It looks like it's going well. I mean, it's improving. Let's let's take a look. All right, so <clears throat> when this thing goes back, I will let you guys know. So I will just cut to when the thing finishes. All right, so it seems like, <clears throat> all right guys, so it seems like the model finished training and apparently we have a pretty decent validation accuracy of 93% with training accuracy 93 so it seems like it's not overfitting i would say if from these results it seems like we have a successful trained model that i saved under elbowed image sorter model inception.h5 so that i saved here so now what i would like to do is test loading this model and running a prediction to see if it works or not all right uh to do that and at the same time be able to show it to you i think i'm gonna wrap it on a streamlet app i think i'm gonna wrap this in a streamlet app so uh streamlet i'm gonna call this app.py where this is gonna be a very simple app where i load an image and it will run the model and run a prediction and tell me if the model is gonna keep that image or not so i already set up a little bit of the code here so i'm using streamlit and i'm just going to basically um, i created this file called uh, model.py and here now we're gonna <clears throat> let's say load model and now the model is in a folder called album image album image sorted inception and hopefully I can just say this. It will run prediction on the image. Hopefully the prediction runs correctly. So I set up this file and this one, which is the file for the app that calls the, the model uh, with this import. So I'm using this import. So I go here, I get this function predict. I load it here and then I load the image here and run prediction. And we can test that right now to see if it works. All I gotta do is run streamlet and we can see if this stuff is working or not. So let's see. So here it's the little app that I wrote. So now we go, we get the image. I can skip that in the, yeah. So now I'm just gonna get some random image from the test. Let's get a don't keep it example. Let's get a bit obvious example. So classifying and let's see what we get. And we get don't keep it. It works. All right. So there we have it. We have a working model with a with an app wrapped around and stuff, and it will classify my images the way that I want. And it has apparently good accuracy, so that's great. I can just, you know, let's, let's see another example. So let's see this random image of a pancake that I don't want to keep. 
I mean, obviously, I'm using from the test set, so I know that the predictions in this one are going to be good, but it's cool either way. See? It works. All right, guys. I think that this pretty much wraps things up. Let's just make a few considerations in the code that I just turned. So the one of the issues I was having was with the output of the prediction. So I forgot to do this little uh, this little if statement here. There's a there's a NumPy way. There's a better way in NumPy to do this. But since I'm doing this like quickly just to get something out there, I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm going to put a link in the description to my GitHub so that you can check out the code that I wrote. I'm going to try to write things a little bit better and set up installation and stuff so that, you know, if you want to try this at home, you can use the code. So be sure to check out my GitHub. I also I'm going to write an article about this. So if you want to check out the article, uh, I will leave a link in the description of this video to the article. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that's it. Cheers.